Well, hello everybody. I wanted to uh, talk today about the importance of writing stuff down. And I'm not talking about like a grocery list or, or something like that. I'm talking about your homestead activities, your homestead goals you have. Uh, we all have goals we set that uh, maybe you're sitting around in the wintertime you think, okay, this is all I want to do this spring and summer for next year. Or as the summer's winding down, you're thinking, oh, I want to make sure I get this ready for next year. I encourage you to write those things down and go back and reference those and of course put them in a priority list and do all that. So, so why do I say that? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now that I wish I had gone back and just remembered. Um, you know, I have a short memory when it comes to certain things. So what's going on here is I am completely out of groundwater for my pigs. These pigs are the ones that are going to go to processing here uh, in about a month. But I'm completely out of water because the last two summers, we've had exceptionally wet summers, and this creek has stayed uh, full of water all summer long. Well, we're in a pretty good dry spell right now, and I don't have any water. I even dug some holes with my tractor bucket, thinking I could unearth some water, and I got none. So, um, so what am I doing? So it looks like for the, uh, there's no forecast for rain. It's another 15 days out in our forecast. So what do I have to do? Well, I have to transport water. So I have my IBC tote here. So what does that have to do with writing stuff down? Well. If I would have remembered and looked back at my, uh, my information this time last year, when it didn't completely dry up, but it was getting close, I said, uh, I told myself, hey, I need to install some tanks to catch gravity. Get off my hose, you dummies. I need to install tanks to catch water, rainwater, off the, off the gutters. It's like trying to feed kids. <laughs> it's a little dry in these parts. So if I would have been able to consult my list and go back and discover that, hey, I had planned at this time to put the gutters on the uh, one of my outbuildings and then have rain catchment, all this rain that we got the previous months would have been a non-issue because I could have used the water here instead of having to transport. So here I'm transporting water from a stream um, using electricity to pump water, using uh, my truck to transport the water here, doing all that stuff. When I have a building right up here, I could have easily just captured the rainwater off the gutters. And um, so definitely, definitely something to think about going forward. So point being, if I would have taken the time and have written down on my list of things I wanted to do, I would have seen put the water tanks in for our late summer, for early fall, where it's going to be dry, and I wouldn't be doing this mess right now. So that's why I think it's important to set your goals and, and of course, document and put them on paper, put them wherever, put them in an a electronic document, whatever you use, stick them to the refrigerator if you have to, and uh, that way you can prepare for times that uh, that you know are coming, but they're not at the front of your mind. And, and that's the situation I had, obviously, just uh, not thinking taken for granted the fact that we've had uh, really wet summers the last two years and didn't really even cross my mind. When it's pounding down the rain and you've got you know, inches and inches of rain you're getting every week it seems like, being out of water and hauling water doesn't even cross your mind, but uh, it should have. I should have thought yeah, this isn't going to last forever. So just a little tip there, just uh, keep you out of trouble.